Something else that's dropping tonight is the temperature in the northern half of the U.S. Another deep freeze is settling in. Detroit could hit 12 degrees overnight, six in Madison, Wisconsin, three below in Minneapolis, where we find Jamie Ucas of CBS station WCCO. Jamie? Scott, the wind chills will dip as low as 30 degrees below zero later this week in Minnesota and be 40 degrees below normal in the Great Plains Northeast and Midwest. This new cold snap did stop flooding along rivers jammed with ice in Pennsylvania, Minnesota and Ohio. But ice blocks that tore up the shoreline along the Kankakee River in Illinois still threaten this bridge. The spinning circulation of winds, known as the polar vortex, has dug deeper into Canada. That's directed a burst of brutally cold air south. By the end of the week, it will get below freezing as far south as the Gulf Coast. Here in Minneapolis, the average low this winter has been 1.3 degrees. The city has restricted parking until April because emergency vehicles cannot get through snow-clogged streets. The Edinburgh Golf Course in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, does not expect to open for at least two more months. General Manager Dan Jaycock. It's definitely going to be a while before all this disappears, before we can start looking at uh, how the course came through the winter. You know, we'd like to shoot for April 1st, but, you know, with all this snow, it's hard to say. Do you think that's realistic this winter? Yeah, it doesn't look good. Minneapolis is on pace to have its coldest winter since 1979, and the long-range forecast, Scott, isn't giving us much hope. Predictions show that below-normal temperatures will likely continue through March anywhere east of the Rockies. Jamie Yukas of WCCO. Jamie, thank you so much.